I think someone has a problem with their internet connection. Look guys, there's a whole massive pile of CDs that we sorted out and made these ready to throw away or sell. It's rather a big pile, don't you think? And over there is the shelf with all the empty space. So it's 22 minutes past 11 in the evening I've spent the whole day doing different bits and pieces but nothing that interesting that I could vlog it. I in the morning watch TV yeah I actually sat and watch TV which is something I don't do very often but this morning I watch TV I watch Mythbusters which is um as it says it's a show where people decide to bust, bust myths. I can't give you any examples because they're so complicated myths that I don't remember them afterwards. But you know what, you could Google this show and you would find some awesome information about it. It's a good show and it's quite interesting. It's quite, quite science-y. They do try to prove or break these myths by doing it with science and that is something I find really interesting is making stuff happen or not happen with science. In the afternoon after I took a shower I loaded some of those CDs that I just showed you onto the PC so now I have more music in my library. There was about I don't know 20 CDs and I loaded them up and save them on my hard drive because they're not CDs I want to keep but it's music that's useful to have I find music good sometimes I feel like listening to some really old stuff I actually listened to a Peter Andre CD today wow that was so 80s I actually think he was from the 90s because I remember him when I was young I was like a teenager but I don't like him anymore <laughs> I don't know whatever possessed me to like him in the first place. I certainly don't like his music now. Not that music anyway. Maybe if he released something now, I would like it. I don't know. What else did I do today? Oh yeah, I edited last week's vlog. That's always good. I've been on Hives. I've been on Facebook, Twitter, in the Dutch chat room, as you have also just seen. And on ever said and oh on a, another chat server talking to a friend in there too I just had the most weird experience I was drinking um, some cocoa really hot cocoa and as I was emptying the cup I kind of took the last sip out of the cup and then I got this really weird steamy sensation over my eye and it made it impossible to see. Kind of, I don't know if you know, but if you wear glasses or if you've ever had sunglasses on and you do the same thing with a hot drink and your glasses steam up, it looks exactly like that. But I'm not wearing glasses right at this precise moment and I still had the same experience. Weird, huh? So it's 9.49 on Monday evening. I was supposed to do house chores today and didn't. I was supposed to clean out well, not clean out, but clean up the, the bed in my room where the dog lies. 
I was supposed to give her a clean bed, which I didn't do. And I was supposed to take down the, the doggy crate because we were planning not to use it. The re reason why we got the doggy crate out to begin with was sometime a couple of years ago when the fireworks started going off here after we moved here like in we have like a bonfire night celebration in November you have fireworks during that time and my dog doesn't like them so we put the doggy crate out to put her in there and to sort of close the door because if you put her in there and close the door it makes her feel safe then she doesn't freak out at the fireworks and now she's been sleeping in it because she just likes to sleep in there we don't lock her in there really um, maybe for an hour at night if she's upstairs while my dad's in bed and I'm down here otherwise she lies on top of the lift and then I can't get upstairs but I was going to take it down and put it away and put her bed somewhere else and I was supposed to do laundry which I also didn't do but instead I sat behind the computer all day was fiddling around with Unreal IRCD again and we got it all online and working the IRCD is online so the chat for JJC is now working and Justin's been busy with an email program so our email server is also working some other stuff to do but it's really very nice to have the chat back online and I sat behind the computer until five this evening <laughs> doing all of that work I had to go to the doctor later in the evening which I also did my new doctor is very nice she listens and she explains things in a way that makes it easy to understand and I have some medication check out that big box of medication <laughs> for my face and yeah that went really good having fun cleaning out the dog cage having fun cleaning out the dog cage having fun cleaning out the dog cage la 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 la, la.
so as you've just seen my dog's made herself a nice little bed outside on the landing at the top of the stairs and in the place of her doggy crate are teddy bears oh and a guitar but that was there before so yeah there is a couple of reasons why we moved the bed out of here one was because it was smelling of dog way too much another i think is because of a hair and a hair being in here it's making it difficult for me to breathe and the third reason is because if she's out there instead of in here with the door shut she can hear what's going on outside and let us know if there's people there that we don't want to be there so yeah that's why i moved to bed so i haven't really done very much today in terms of productiveness as you saw earlier on the dog's cage dog's crate thing got clean i went to the store and started practicing pushing myself through the park again I want to make these upper arms stronger especially since the appointment that i had with the doctor yesterday where i was basically told that i can't get a power chair because i can't control a manual one well actually that isn't quite true, I can control the manual one I just have problems with pushing it because my upper arms hurt when I do so I can't get very far in it which kind of sucks because it feels like I'm being denied some independence not only was I told that I can't possibly probably can't get it because of not being able to control it but the other reason why I can't get it is because I'm visually impaired and no one can confirm that it's safe enough I'm safe enough to, to drive it which again doesn't make any sense to me because it's more difficult to control a manual chair and I don't have a problem controlling it I just have a problem pushing it very far spending a lot of the afternoon in front of the computer again I was working on a server computer we put a, a admin client which is a MIRC basically with code in it up on the server computer so that Justin who can get access to that computer too can use an MIR MIRC client on there and I've been recoding it I also done some laundry needed to do that because the laundry basket was rather full tomorrow I've got visitors coming my sister's coming in the afternoon my mum's coming over in the evening we're gonna eat dinner together we're making some prawn fried rice so that should be good guess what I'm doing again guys that's right I'm charging my phone isn't that a, a coincidence? <laughs> uh, the battery on the camera, however, also needs charging, so I'm going to make this very, very quick. It's about 11.30 on Wednesday evening, and I've had a really busy day. This morning, I tried to set up my sister's new laptop, which I did successfully. However, the battery that came with it um, doesn't work. I'm getting cannot detect battery or do not detect battery when I start at Windows so I'm a little bit annoyed about that but hopefully it will get sorted and we'll have a working battery soon sister is happy with the laptop though so that's good I'm just complaining about the, the no no working battery but we'll get there and we'll fix it had them my sister and brother-in-law was around for lunch and then in the evening my mum came for dinner which was also nice we had the prawn fried rice again and the prawn fried rice is awesome I might even share the recipe with you in fact we share a lot of recipes on the uh, JJC network site so if you're interested in recipes www.jjcnetworks.nl yes come and visit it there are recipes there in English and Dutch so Come and read them and I will share my prawn fried rice recipe there with you guys too. Okay, I'm going to stop recording for today because I don't know how long this battery is going to last. And I will um, pick up the camera again tomorrow.
One of the many things I like to spend my time doing is watching the videos on YouTube that Robin puts there of the many concert organs and barrel organs he gets a chance to film. His videos are awesome. I'm going to put his link down in the description below so that you guys can check him out. It's one of the things I'm really interested in, so I want to share it with you guys. Hey, it's Thursday. It is 11, no, sorry, 10.50 in the evening, and I've spent most of the day behind the computer computer doing stuff for JJC Networks, doing stuff to the server. Um, I had a Dutch lesson in the evening which was as usual really fun. Did some reading of the Disney book and um, also did some dictation. Jesse was reading Mary Poppins to me. So that was fun. I'm doing this really quickly because I only have two minutes or so left on the camera. So I am going to end my vlog for this week. I know it's only Thursday. I know I haven't filmed for Friday and Saturday yet. But we will continue with that for next week's video. So guys, leave your comments below. Let me know what you have been doing. Give me the chance to talk to you and interact with you. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you again next week.